Let's start off with a story. There once was a little boy named Tom who had a very bad temper. His father gave him a big bag of rusty nails and said to him, Son, every time you lose your temper, you have to hammer one of those nails into the back of the fence. The first day, the boy had driven 37 nails into the fence. Over the next few weeks, as he learned to control his anger, the, the number of nails he hammered daily gradually dwindled down, dwindled down to nearly zero. Tom soon discovered it was easier to hold his temper than to drive those nails into the fence. James 1, 19-21 states, Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. We are too often slow to, slow to listen, quick to speak, and quick to become angry. We get defensive before we can... But we get... The, we get defensive before we can even hear someone say that they're hurt. We rush to give our opinions, and we get angry all too easily, especially with those closest to us. But over and over again, the Bible talks about how the way we speak matters. Proverbs 13.3 says, Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He, opens wide, he who opens wide his, whip, wide his lip comes to ruin. And Proverbs 15.1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. There are a lot of other scriptures I could talk about, but the point is that the way we communicate just, is just like everything else we do. We should demonstrate that we love God and love others. It's as simple as that. As Christians, we should be trying to be Christ-like. Are we listening to the hurts, pains, stories, and opinions of others in a way that points them to Jesus? Or are we trying to point others to ourselves and how correct our views are? The I'm right and you're wrong attitude isn't what James is saying that we need to have. Our online speech should also be used to love God and love our neighbor. That also means that, as James calls us to do, we should be quick to listen, even online. Whether it be a video game or a chat room, follow people you disagree with and hear them out. More often than not, you would do well to simply listen. When we allow anger to control us, saying things that are hurtful, we aren't doing what God has designed for our relationship, especially with us with other questions. Now let's go back to the story. Finally, the day came when the boy, when the boy, aka Tom, didn't lose his temper at all. He told his father about it and the father suggested that the boy now pull out one of the nails for each day that he was able to go without having a temper. The days passed quickly and the young boy was finally able to tell his father that all the nails were gone. The father took his son by the hand and led him to the fence. He said, you have done well, my son. But look at the holes in the fence. The fence will never be the same. When you say things in anger, they leave a scar, just like this one. You can put a knife in a man and draw it out. It won't matter how many times you say, I am sorry. The wounds will still be there. The little boy then understood how powerful his words were. He looked up at his father and said, I hope you can forgive me, father, for the holes I put in you. James 1, 22-23 states, But be he... But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. Some people listen to God's word so that they can argue about what they hear. Some people listen to God's word so that they can boast about what they hear. If we are going to consider ourselves Christians, then we need to take seriously that God wants us to follow him in everything we do. This is how our light shines in the midst of a dark world. Our boy learned a valuable lesson when his father showed him through the holes in the fence that angry words cause scars. Friendships can be ruined in seconds by angry words. By being quick to listen and slow to anger, we are being a doer of God's word. What do you see when you look in a mirror? A hearer or a doer?